Right, so yeah, this right here is my face. I've actually shown it out before, but I guess since then we've managed to get together a fair few new subscribers who uh, probably haven't seen my face yet. So this right here is my face. Get used to it. Yeah, at the start of this quarter I had this grandiose plan of like starting to live stream more, recording at the same time, and then using the webcam for the live streams. So hence I bought this webcam. But that plan sort of fell apart, mainly due to a lack of time. At the start of every quarter, I do always think I got more time than I wind up having. So I was stuck with this webcam right here. So to get some use out of it, uh, I decided to use it right now to show out my face. Of course, to my 6% female audience. That was the whole point, actually. Yeah, I was surprised too, but hello, ladies. My name is Bart, if you didn't know that. But yeah, you know, sometimes I wonder whether or not I come off as a complete idiot in my videos. Um, you know, I'm mostly not really that serious, uh, sarcastic even. So to prove that I'm not a complete moron, I'm making this video today to uh, show off my mechatronics project. So uh, as some of you may know, I study mechanical engineering. And this quarter was about systems and control and mechatronics. Now, mechanical engineering, we're not electrical engineers, so we don't actually know a lot about mechatronics. So yeah, before this quarter, I had zero Arduino coding experience, and after this quarter, you know, I got some Arduino coding experience. I could set up an if loop, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive, right? But you know, to start off, to uh, teach us the basics, they had us doing some very basic things. Guys. You gotta look at my crazy Arduino contraption right here, okay? So we're gonna enter S. It's gonna go into step mode. Look at that. It's amazing. We're in follow mode right now. What this allows you to do is actually control the motor. So yeah, basically, I'm God. And uh, yeah, I pretty much expanded a bit from there, but then it was the start of the actual project. And in this project, we were free to do what we wanted to do. We just had to make sure it had some kind of feedback control loop, because that was kind of the whole point. So we decided on making a GoPro gimbal. And when I say we, I don't mean the royal we. I actually did this project together with three other people. But anyways, a gimbal is a little handheld device with some motors that uh, senses and counteracts unwanted movement, thus giving you more professional looking shots. Our gimbal would also contain a little LED ring just to make sure that we met all the project requirements, because we had to implement X amount of different sensors and actuators, a PID controller, a filter, and even more stuff. Anyways, we decided on this with barely any idea on how to do it. Then fast forward a few weeks, uh, we learned some new things and we finally got our components. Now the clock was ticking at this point, our components arrived rather late, so we had about two weeks to put this entire thing together from scratch. So step one was sensor data, getting the gyroscope accelerometer combo to actually spit out yaw pitch and roll angles. Luckily we managed to get that working within a day by using some gigantic five sheet code that performs all the Euler or Euler angle calculations for us. You know, last time I said aha, a lot of people complain about my name pronunciations, so I'm gonna say Euler here, which sounds really weird in English. But anyways, the point is that 3D dynamics is really complicated stuff. So it's nice when other people make a big line of code for you and you can just implement it. Now we split off into two teams for maximum project efficiency, so at the same time the LED ring department was uh, working on their thing. Anyhow, the next step was motor control, so we used servos, which are pretty easy to control. You can just tell them to go to a certain angle and uh, they obey. The really professional GoPro stabilizers use so-called brushless DC motors, but those are kind of a pain in the ass to control, so we just opted for servos. Motor control probably took the longest as we had to see what would result in the smoothest stabilization. So we tried a few different things and eventually we got it working pretty well. Essentially what's happening is that the sensor detects an offset, takes that offset and multiplies it with a factor. And also takes the derivative of the offset and multiplies that with a different factor. Sums up that result and then feeds it back into the motor. A so called PD controller. And luckily we got that working pretty well. Uh, overall it was a pain in the ass, I'll admit. The final step was putting everything together, so we put it all on a solid, thick, black handle with four different switches and a dial on the back. Two were power switches, one switch was for turning the LED on and off, and the last one is for enabling and disabling pitch stabilization. And we also got the dial for the so-called panorama mode. So in the end, it looks half decent as well. I mean, the wiring kinda looks like a mess, but you're not seeing about the 30 kilometers of wires that's been uh, neatly tucked away into the handle. Team LED Ring definitely did a solid job wiring everything and uh, soldering. Anyways, we built something that's uh, pretty cool, and given our lack of experience and time, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the end result. 
We also had to make a video demo, which is sort of what you're seeing in the background right now, but that full thing had some copyrighted music on it, so if you want to see it, a link to that will be in the description. A Vimeo link to trail that service for once, actually. Apparently, it's got better quality video than YouTube, I've been told. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. So yeah, if you're thinking about joining in on the wonders of mechanical engineering, uh, this might be the sort of stuff you get around to. Well, this and uh, a lot of math and physics. Don't underestimate the physics. There's, there's really just a lot of physics involved. Last time I made a video like this, apparently I scared some people away by showing off my gigantic book pile. I mean, I will admit I don't read most of it, but uh, there is a gigantic book pile involved as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the near future.